Hi everyone, I'm Lauren and welcome to my art nook. If you'd like, please check out my Etsy page or follow me on Instagram. So today we're doing part two of the art in the loop video. Um, so if you haven't checked out part one, go on over there to check out part one where we did the collaging of this um, piece. Um, so just a real re quick recap, Art in the Loop is a project happening here in Kansas City where artists are submitting their pieces to be put on um, billboards, um, bus stops, and our uh, little train that we have that runs around downtown. Um, the piece I am submitting is to be put on a billboard. So fingers crossed, hopefully I'll get it because I have never done anything like this. Um, and the subject uh, for this project is resilience. So um, what I'm doing here is I'm putting on um, some of my spray inks to try to uh, show you the brighter side of life and the darker side of life um, and how you know you can be resilient and how things can be good and bad in life. Um, so I'm just kind of running those brighter colors um, from the brighter side of life down across um, to the, from the left to the right. Um, so I'm just kind of using water to dilute them to get them to run. I always put water down on my canvas before I add my colors. And I always start with like a yellow or like a light orange and then I start adding on the darker, more vivid colors. Um, and then I'm just trying to move it using my heat gun. It is kind of on a lower setting. It's not too hot right now. Um, and I'm just trying to move it in the direction I want it to go. Um, and then once I, you know, make sure that I have it all on there the way I want, um, you know, I'll end up switching this over to go to the other directions. But I'm still making sure that I have it just right. My favorite part of all of this is how some of those colors have really seeped into those book pages in the background. You can see there in the center, underneath, um, kind of like more to the center, yeah, to the right of the flowers, some of those darker greens and purples, those are, that's where it's like really soaked in to the pages. I absolutely love that. That's my favorite part. It's the best. So I'm just trying to dry it now um, because I want to make sure this side is completely dry before I rotate it. Because I am going to rotate it because I want the darker side to be running into the brighter side. So I'm going to do this exact same thing, just the other direction. But I want this to be dry, otherwise it's going to start running back up. And I don't want that to happen. So we are just, and it, we're making sure not to focus the heat gun in one spot too long because otherwise we're going to get blistering and that blistering will make little bubbles of the glue and there's, I don't know of any way to really fix that once you get that blistering of the glue. If you know of any way to fix blistered glue or like bubbled up glue that's been overheated, please let me know in the comments because once that happens, I don't know how to undo it. So um, some of the ink did run to the back of the canvas, so I'm just wiping that off with a napkin. And um, if you don't know this, I do save those napkins and I reuse them in collages. So I don't waste those napkins to those environmentally friendly people. Um, we like to use every scrap we can, and uh, I did use it, uh, not that, but I do use my scraps in a scrap video, which I will add the link up here if you'd like to check out the scrap videos. <laughs> Look, I made little circles on my table with my spray inks. How fun is that? Oh, that's entertaining. So now we are going to move on to the darker side of life where things aren't so bright and uh, pretty. They're a little bit more gloomy and dark. So we're going to start off with just a little bit of water to get the canvas just a little damp so things have somewhere to start moving. And we're starting off with a lighter tan color and then we're going to add a little bit yellow and we're going to start adding some color some uh, of this like honey wild honey I think it's called um, stain and then we're going to start adding some more colors um, I'm going to add a little bit of red and a little bit of that turquoise because 
anything that's been aged always has those in it from what I've noticed. They always have like a, a turquoise like green or like a reddish color. Like they're just dirty. You know, they always have like dirty, like it, that plus the like browns, they always look icky. So now we're starting to get some movement and some running. And I throw some more of those like drops that are supposed to be used for the um, ink pads to refill your ink pads when they're getting a little dry. I'm gonna use a little bit of those. I got some on my rose down there. Just dab that off with my paper towel. And we're gonna add some water and we are getting big movement and I love it. It is big, it is dramatic, it is great. And I wanted some of the color to stay up in that corner. I didn't want to lose it all. So I tilted it back. So that's why I like to tilt my canvases because I can really control how much goes where and when. So uh, some people don't always tilt their canvases. I like to tilt them when I'm moving it like this. You could just use your heat gun if you wanted, I suppose. I like tilting it. I feel like it can sit where I, where I want it more. So I spray it a little bit. I dab it a little bit just because like I don't want the flowers to not be seeable. I want you to be able to see them still. And now we're just going to keep moving that. And I like some petals. I think some petals look nice because it makes it look kind of icky. If it's on the darker side, those petals just make it look, Bleh. I don't want to touch that. That looks gross. <laughs> But of course, it's not gross. It's just so. Just gonna dry this off, and then we'll be able to see the finished product, which I'm so excited about how it turned out. And if you guys saw my first video, you know exactly what the, this means to me. I love, I love everything about this, and you know, I just want to say thank you to everyone that was there for me, and my family, and my husband, um, my mom and dad. Thank you guys so much for taking care of me when I was sick. Um, it meant the world to me. Um, I don't think I would be back doing art if it wasn't for your guys' support. Um, my parents, my family, everyone has just been so supportive of me and my husband has just been amazingly supportive of me um, doing this and like helping me do it since I was sick. It's it's been amazing. I mean, <laughs> I say since I was sick. I mean, technically I still have lupus, but I mean, since my big flare, as they call it, which I hate that, it sounds disgusting, but since the big time I got sick um, and I was diagnosed, so uh, they've all just been amazing. And I just wanted to say thank you. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this piece. And if you guys did enjoy it, please give me a like a comment and subscribe um, and I will check you guys out in the next video because um, I don't really know what else to say at this point other than thank you guys for watching you know um, and let me know what else you guys want me to make because um, I'm gonna keep on making videos as long as you guys keep on watching them um, so yeah thank you I'll check you guys out in the next video. Later.